Hi everyone, welcome to the Gem Museum. It's Kuming, bringing museum directly to all of you. Um, today I just want to talk a little bit about uh, three, three different uh, characteristics that you can look out for when you appreciate gemstones and minerals. So one of them is color. So behind me at the top there, you can see uh, color, color, color samples of blue sapphires. Yeah, let, let's take a closer look. So in blue sapphires, there are many colors. So we're just looking at blue. So one is like a very light blue, almost like white, to uh, light blue, medium blue, and blue, uh, vivid blue, and deep blue. When I ask people about this, uh, which color do they like? Um, some people put to the red, to this white sapphire. Some people go to the medium, and then center, and and so on. They're actually a big audience for all all of the sapphires. And so far, I have actually people liking each of the colors. But this is a great question to ask. Uh, do I like it because of the color? Uh, what about the color? You know, sometimes when you look at the stone, um, people tend to like, oh, I like a medium color like this. And I, or I like a deeper color like that. There are actually people who really like this color because it's, it's, it appeals to them because of the depth of color. And then some people like this kind, these two colors, which is like vivid blue color. Yeah. So there's a lot of, uh, taste in this and it's a good uh, question to ask that you can start to you know you can start to understand better uh, your taste so another thing about color let's look at some other stones like these are colored diamonds fancy colored diamonds and uh, yeah look at that so GIA actually has a very good uh, grading system where you talk about the secondary color, color and the primary color. Like for example, the dark greenish gray. Well, let's take a look, closer look. Dark greenish gray. So the secondary color is greenish and then the primary color is gray. So dark greenish gray. So you see more gray than the greenish. Another one is like deep brownish orange. So you see secondary color uh, brownish, but you see more of orange. So you see it's a brownish orange. And here you go, another one, deep brownish orange. So again, the primary color is yellow, and then the secondary color is brownish. So you see more yellow than the brown. Pink, I, this is, I think, fancy pink, just a straight color. And this H is a white diamond. Faint blue, yeah, you can see that actually the faint blue does show under my my camera. And uh, hi, welcome. Um, and brown diamond is brown. So when you look at color, you can differentiate it by the secondary color and also the primary color. That way you can understand the color better, not just saying oh it's pink, oh, but it has a maybe it's a purplish pink, maybe it's an orangey pink, maybe it's a brownish pink. So as you get continue to define the colors uh, to your senses, uh, that's a good way where you can start to appreciate the gems and minerals even more. Let's look here at some uh, other gemstones. So the cat's eyes are gone. Looks to me. Uh, wonder what our viewers thinking. You know, like uh, the cat's eyes are gone is like a, I would say a yellowish brown, yellowish brown. And then the Mamba Tiger's Eye actually is a bit reddish. I would say it's like um, reddish. Yeah, hi, hi. Hi, Ahyung. Yes, welcome to our life. And I uh, was just talking a little bit about describing color and also describing, um, describing color and also the shape and the size. But now I'm just talking about color. So from moving from uh, the color diamonds here, you can see dark greenish gray. So defining the color that you see is important because we want to communicate to other people why we like this color. Oh, because I like the 
the lightness of the colour because I like the saturation of the colour. Oh, I like the greenish uh, in the grey. Oh, it's such, it's such a unique colour. So that's where we actually increase our vocabulary uh, for colour. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's really amazing. How about this moonstone? Well, moonstone is a little bit unique because the body colour is like transparent. And then there's a moonstone effect. And a moonstone effect, you can see it's like bluish and yellowish. Yeah, so in terms of the body colour, it's, it's a light, it's transparent, like almost white. And, and so on. And okay, let's go on to the next part, which is size. So these stones here are rather huge. Um, I think the, the moonstone is like 90 carats. The star garnet is like, uh, I think maybe 80, uh, 80 carats. And then the star ruby is like 150 carats. Or maybe 100 carats uh, around there. Yeah, so these are really, really huge stones. Um, and then compared to here, you can see the cat's eye moonstone. I think it's only like one or two carats. So, what draws me to this the size? So, when you look at the stone, do you like the size? You know, like for these stones, um, I don't think I will make them into jewelry. I, I like them because of the size. Well, they actually have stars and moonstone effects. So, being a big size, it actually, uh, it actually, um, what do you call it? makes the effect clearer later if I can have a, 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 a torch light, it will be fantastic. So size does really play a part in terms of the beauty, appreciating the beauty of the gemstone. And uh, here are some uh, smaller stones. This uh, ru Polish ruby from Kenya. It's a tumble. They are flat, flat slices. So different sizes for different occasions. So I just talking about uh, how to, how are some factors that can uh, affect the way we appreciate gemstones? First, I was talking about color, and then now I'm talking about size. So, look at the size here. These are about one to two carat size aquamarines. Yeah, so most likely you can actually set them into jewelry. You know, sometimes if you see the aquamarine like this kind of size, I think this is a hundred carat quartz. Yeah, I, I, it will be very difficult to set in a ring. It more, more like a display piece. Yeah, and also this uh, Brazilian, one of my favorites, uh, rutilated quartz. I, I like it because of the root house, so I'm well organized. You can see like a star effect. Yeah, so tell us, you know, um, what, what do you like? Is it the color? Is it the shape? Or is it the size? So the next one I'm going to cover is shape. And uh, look at that. It's a small size. You can see my finger. It's, it's a small size. Thanks for the like. And um, yeah, and different colors here, you know. I have many colors here with different stones. It tend to help each other. When you mix it up together, it looks really attractive. Uh, but if you just leave the yellow and the light blues, oh, I tell you, it's not so attractive. So that is one thing about uh, color. Color is something that attracts us humans a lot and uh, when you look at color stones the time the color it really draws you in tremendously so let's just do a recap so we actually touch on color we, we touch on color here then later on we touch on size all right and next thing is the shape so what kind of shape do you like there are many different cutting shapes in styles for gemstones. Uh, let's go here. Here you can see some diamonds. And uh, these diamonds are different shapes of uh, cutting. Let's move it, zoom in a little bit more. You can have princess cut, which is squarish. You can have heart shape, which is a uh, heart shape. You have cushion, which is uh, like a pillow. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. We are just uh, bringing the museum live to to people around because now that Singapore there's a new heightened measure so the government is telling people to stay at home and we thought we just bring the museum to wherever you are if you like this video or if you think somebody will like this video just uh, tag your friends or share it for us thank you very much to spread uh, gems and the love for gems and jewelry so uh, different shapes such as pear shape oh, this, this pear shape I like very much you can see 
Diamonds tend to have very uh, defined shapes because of the hardness. When you cut it, you can see the shape very well. Then about Marquis, it's like that. Uh, Radiant, like this. Hi, hi everybody. Thanks for joining us on this live. Radiant and round. So round is the very common shape, but uh, the, you can realize you see it sparkle the most compared to the princess. Okay, you can see round, round stones tend to sparkle the most. They are most valuable because they lose a lot of the rough when you cut it. So here are different shapes that, which one is your favorite? You can comment, which is your favorite shape? You know, cushion, pear, marquise, heart, radiant, princess, and round, brilliant. So these are many shapes that, uh, that are in more common shapes in the market. Which is your favorite? Pear shape, cushion shape, marquise, heart shape, radiant. Okay, radiant, let's have a look at radiant. Radiant, what is radiant? Radiant is an eight-sided shape. It looks like a princess, but it has eight sides. It's not really an emerald cut because emerald cut is a step cut. You, you will see steps, uh, steps as the facets. But this one, you can see the facets are different shapes and sizes. This gives a lot of life for the stones. A lot of fancy shape, oh sorry, fancy colored diamonds. They are cut radium because radium tend to bring out more color. All right, and more sparkle. So the round brilliant, normally white diamonds, are transparent white diamonds, they are round. So that is all these different things I covered today. I covered a little bit on different colors. I covered on the size and last but not least I covered on the different shapes of stones yes so that is mostly uh, for gemstones cut gemstones let's just have a look at some uh, minerals minerals and crystals so in minerals and crystals oh the lighting here is not so nice me oh no <laughs> anyway that's just a quick one next time then i do a more more a more clearer view so when you look at crystals uh, i think shape is something that really intrigues people because uh, crystals they all have a specific shape so this one here you can see this isometric which is a cubic system um, in crystals there are actually seven crystal systems so this actually affect the the way the stone forms so the first shape that you can see is isometric or cubic the next shape which we jumble it together is actually trigonal like this is trigonal this uh, quartz crystal this uh, sapphire and the tourmaline these are all trigonal the, the trigonal shape you can see very clearly from the you can see here it's like a mercedes if you can see the reflection it's just like a mercedes this is a trigonal uh, tourmaline crystal and then hexagonal is another shape which is very clear you can see the aquamarine crystal is has a hexagonal shape we can count the different facets uh different sides of the crystal one two three four five six so there's a hexagonal shape and then uh let's see the emerald also is in hexagonal shape whoa whoa what happened to my camera <laughs> phone and next, next up uh, is a tra a tetragonal, which is uh, zircon crystals. Yeah, zircon crystals, they are actually tetragonal. So the next one is triclinic. Triclinic, it tends to have the least shape because it's just straight like that. This is a kyanite, a piece of kyanite and uh, some labradorite and kyanite. You can see it's very long. Uh, another one, another shape is monoclinic, monoclinic epido. Moonstone, uh, jade, jade. Oh, jade is monoclinic too. I, I didn't realize that. Every day you learn something new at the museum. Last but not least is orthorhombic. You know, orthorhombic. You have crystals like uh, whoa, it's blur. Okay, it's a uh, peridot, topaz. Okay, actually, if you look at this, it's very interesting because you can see the triangular shape of the topaz and the small one is also present in the large one. Yeah, this shape is uh, orthorhombic shape and last but not least, iolite. So these are the seven crystal systems. Let's recap. When you look at minerals, it's uh, cubic, isometric. And then here is the trigonal, the hexagonal, 
and then the tetragonal, the triclinic, long, always remember long, and monoclinic, and orthorhombic. So these are the different shapes that, uh, that you can actually find when you look at uh, minerals. So uh, just to recap, today we did a, a short live on the different uh, characteristics that you can appreciate gems and minerals. The first is the color, second is the size, and third is the shape. And we, did, we talked a little bit about the minerals having different shapes because they are formed in different crystal systems. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short life. Um, do, do tag your friends, do share it with your friends and those who are appreciating uh, gemstones and minerals. And uh, we hope to connect with everyone more on this, this, chat, this platform. So my name is Tae Ming. I'm one of the founders of the Gem Museum. And I hope that you stay curious and uh, continue to stay safe in this, uh, in this time. So see you soon. Oh yeah, by the way, if you like, you can go to our website, thegemmuseum.gallery slash virtual museum uh, slash hyphen, uh, virtual hyphen museum. We have a virtual museum that you can visit and enjoy yourself. So take care. See you soon.